Hi guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy. Welcome to day nine of hundred days, hundred concepts. And today we'll briefly discuss about heat transfer. So first question that should come into your mind is why, as a metallurgist, you need to study this particular topic of heat transfer. For that, you have to know what are the different processes that we usually deal. in metallurgy and of course material science so if you just think about it we usually have basically and broadly uh, we classified into many types but any process any material is originated from extracting it from the ore or extracting it from the minerals from the earth right so this is the basic thing that is needed in order to develop anything right so first you need iron right if in order to make a steel you need iron in order to make a cutting tool steels you need iron in order to make stainless steel you need iron so the main process which okay is you you can say which is you know originating process for metallurgy is extracting right so here we usually have three different kinds of process pyro hydro and electro right i uh, will discuss these in some other classes right so pyrometallurgy hydrometallurgy and electrometallurgy so what is pyrometallurgy so these are classified based on the source of energy that it is coming so in the first type pyrometallurgy the source of energy comes from the temperature right so how temperature so basically if you have a reactor if you have a furnace what happens usually is there will be something called as a temperature gradient okay what is this temperature gradient temperature gradient is nothing but the change okay the change in the temperature with respect to a particular location so this is usually known as temperature gradient so because of temperature gradient what happens there will be regions of high temperature and low temperature relative to the positions that will be generated inside my furnace or you know any reactor so because of this what happens because of this particular temperature gradient there will be heat transfer taking place that means my energy will move right from one place to another from high temperature region to low temperature region right so because of you know this particular temperature gradient is acting as a driving force okay so this temperature gradient is acting as a driving force for heat transfer right so this is you know the basic thing why we have to study heat transfer so that this uh, has many objectives many aims okay you can find out the temperature gradient you can find out the temperature profiles inside any furnace you can calculate heat losses okay so if you are giving 100 as an input you if you only get only 80 as an output so where is this 20 joules of heat going away so what is the reason so you can do some research and dig into the problem okay so all this stuff can be done in a beautiful manner with the basics of heat transfer okay so again heat transfer uh, fundamentally is divided you can say into three different levels or you can say three modes of heat transfer number 1 is conduction number 2 is convection number 3 is radiation so what is conduction basically in solid materials opaque solid materials like metals alloys all this stuff you observe conduction so what is the main principle it's very simple it will be usually taking place with the help of molecules or atoms so the molecules or atoms will be moving from one place to another which is carrying my heat energy okay so again from which region from high temperature region to low temperature region that is conduction what is convection usually convection will be taking place in fluids okay and we call this convective heat transfer which is you know a separate subject separate area of interest okay which uh, you can deal in the coming videos and the last important thing is radiation so here you don't need any supporting medium 
that means as i said here the conduction is taking place in opaque solids whereas here it will take place in fluids now radiation you don't need any supporting media okay supporting medium is not required but how is my heat getting transferred it is getting transferred using the electromagnetic waves that are generated from a body so we all know any kind of material will try to emit out some kind of electromagnetic radiations it may be you know any with any kind of wavelength or energies right but in certain conditions only this will be taking place under you know some higher temperatures okay in certain atmospheres only you will find the emission of electromagnetic waves so let me let me take some particle a okay and let me take some particle b i have two different uh, you know objects so let's say a is emitting an electromagnetic wave right so where is this going it is going traveling in the space and it will definitely hit the next body which is my b okay let's say a is emitting and b is absorbing the electromagnetic wave so definitely you all know that wave matter electromagnetic waves with certain wavelength has some amount of energy associated with it so using this particular electromagnetic radiation my heat is getting transported that means the heat is getting rejected the heat is getting rejected or emitted out from a and it is taken to my b via my electromagnetic radiation and this b is absorbing by absorbing the electromagnetic radiation what it's doing it is trying to take in some heat okay that's what is happening in my radiation so simple example let's say i hope uh, you all visited a steel plant for any industrial training okay you have a ladle okay let me take this so you have a ladle full of hot steel in it okay and you just try to stand somewhere near to it okay even far away what happens you will definitely feel the hot waves coming to you right that's what radiation is okay this is one type of crude example to explain you how radiation will be taking place right so for our purpose right as we all know this is one kind of a crash course so i quickly want to give you 1d conduction formula which is given by my four years law okay where it says q okay, which is my heat flux is directly proportional to dt by dx so to remove it q is equal to minus k dt by dx where q is heat flux of course per unit time as i am telling flux here this is what q by a okay the heat content by unit area or you can also modify this to be minus ka dt by dx why this minus sign over here we know that this is the driving force so that's why it is directly proportional the difference between two different regions will give you this but how this negative sign is there because obviously the temperature will always decrease right temperature is always going from higher to lower so that's why you uh, have to put this negative sign and what is this k over here this is my thermal conductivity okay this is my thermal conductivity right so if you want to just remodify it i can write this as dt by dx by ka of course minus is somewhere so this particular term is called thermal resistance okay r thermal right so this is how you can modify the equation and of course by uh, modifying into this form you can you know calculate many kinds you can you know assemble this into a series okay or parallel series how the overall resistance will be there that means let's say i have a huge body where i joined 1 2 3 bricks with different k1 k2 k3 and of course different lengths and all this stuff okay then how you will come about and solve this particular thing let's say i have t1 here and t2 here how you calculate the heat flux 
through these things so here if you observe this is in a series similarly you have many other conditions like parallel condition can be there okay there is a combination of series and parallel and all this stuff can be done so yeah of course i am not going to cover all those stuff here but i hope if you are interested do join our video course so that you can get benefited with all the important you know um most important things other than what i am covering in this particular series so do visit our website to check out uh, the details of our video course and of course we are providing one of the most affordable test series for gate metallurgy 2021 of course the video courses are also there for gate 2022 students so do grab it so with this i am stopping here i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share this video to many many metallurgy gate aspirants right again if you are seeing this video for the first time please hit the like button and you know make everything metallurgy grow thank you guys thanks a lot for watching